Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got the last of the 2022 7 Series, and in particular the M760i. So it's X drive only. Last of the V12s. You can see up front we got the very large grills in cerium gray, which is a standard on the M760. Unfortunately, the laser lights are gone. And if I recall, the 50th anniversary emblems may not have been available at the time of ordering this one. And there were some restrictions in terms of getting things done. I think the customer originally wanted to get an individual order, and we couldn't get it done because production was ending. All right, so over here on the side, we got our six, I believe there are six, four, seven M wheels. Nice, distinctive, sort of 10 spoke wheel. Very classic BMW. Also with the black M Sport calipers. Got our hockey stick in cerium gray as well. Mirror caps as well. This is in carbon black. The G12 chassis. And the end of an era for the V12 from BMW. It's over 600 horsepower. It's extremely potent, also very, very smooth. Let's move around the back. M760 badging in cerium gray. As well as exhaust tips. And carbon black, of course, is Rory Reed, previously of Top Gear's favorite color. Just because he wasn't sure what he was getting when he ordered it. So basically, it's a very dark blue. Blue hues come out uh, in the sun, which unfortunately we don't have right now. It's about ready to get delivered to our customer. He's been waiting patiently for the last of the seven series i think originally he wanted to get one of the last i think it was bindi was called it last of the m760s i think there were only 12 made maybe and we didn't know how to get our hands on them anyway so i don't know where they went i'm sure being just sold them off to really good customers so, all right so opening up we've got our ivory white with uh, black merino leather But cockpit is fantastic. You can see V12 logo here in the door sill, as well as the center console area. So this is it, last of the seven series. The chassis, so again, replaced with a brand new seven series for 2023. You can see everything's sort of gated in this con in this uh, car as well. So got our live cockpit pro and also got our seven series. Excuse me. Also have our iDrive seven. So then all this is getting replaced with iDrive eight. I'm sure you've all seen pictures of it as well. Don't know when we'll be getting our first seven series. Hopefully pretty soon. Alright so pricing wise excuse me I had that like zoom out far enough to get just this car in here. So $157,900 to start, which is an absurd amount of money. Yeah, zoom in a little more here. All right, so carbon black included, ivory white Napa leather. I thought it was Merino, it's actually Napa. Included, driving assistance pro, another 1,700 bucks. Luxury rear seating package, $1,800. Moving on down, all those things are included to get the individual piano black trim for a basically a thousand eighty dollars. Nine hundred bucks for the Sky Lounge. I don't know why that's not included in the price of this car. Really weird. Remote control parking at eight fifty. That includes that display key, which is, uh, in my opinion, a gimmick and huge. So I don't know how you're going to fit it in your pocket. So all told, one hundred sixty-six thousand. $820 MSRP, including that $1,700 gas guzzler charge because you're slurping gas with a V12. All right, so here, hopefully you guys can get a good look at the piano black trim. So obviously a fingerprint magnet, most likely. 
So I'm not going to go ahead and touch anything in the car. But lovely details in the 7 Series. We'll take a look at the back seat as well. So we do get soft closed doors as well. All right, so the back seat, luxury seating package. So you do get a tablet here to control functions of the car from the back seat. It does fold up so you're not sort of reducing the capacity like you would with the, I think it's the executive rear seating package, which is basically just turns this car into a three seater. But very nice quilting. And you sort of get a double sort of moonroof going on in the back seat as well. So I'm excited to see the new 7 series with its, I think it was like a 30 inch television screen high, ultra high def, I think it's 8K resolution but I don't think we'll be ordering one of those for store inventory because I'm guessing the take rate on that particular option is going to be quite low. It would definitely be cool to see, but obviously it's extremely spacious back here, knee room and head room. So your basic executive cruiser. And carbon black and ivory white. I think a really good combination, which you've seen at least imitations of on the channel before, so Ivory White or that Harman Kardon. I have no idea why Bowers and Wilkins isn't standard on a car of this stature. I think you'd have just a few options based on the seating arrangement in the back, you can understand, and some other things like Driver Assistance Pro, which may not be wanted by everyone. But why wouldn't you go fully loaded on this one from the factory? But this is it. I should pop the hood and take a look at the V12. Why don't we do that? I mean, we're not going to see much anyway. All right, so obviously we don't see much of anything here, but here is our, I think it's the N73 V12 M performance. You see the 12 cylinders, six on each side of the engine cover. That's unfortunately all you get to see of that glorious engine that dies with this car. But that's about it for a relatively quick tour of the last of the V12s. At least at our store, maybe there's a few more coming in, but this is basically it. So the swan song of the M760, replaced by a V8 and hybrid drivetrain as well. So that's it. We'll see you at the next video.